Hi, my name is Kathleen and I'm the director of the short film you will see. Um, my short film follows a photographer who receives a supernatural camera from her mentor and from there she chances upon an old man with a physique that she cannot ignore. Um, she has to make him her subject. And from there we follow closely behind as she follows the man, waiting for the perfect moment to fossilize him into her own piece of art. So in the short film we heavily suggest that Gwen is involved in some sort of cult um, where a supernatural camera is being passed down from one generation to the next. And this mysterious figure in the beginning is her mentor who tells her that her work does not capture the right moments. Her mentor then passes Gwen the camera, passing on the flag, so to speak, telling her to be ready when it comes. Um, Gwen is fully aware of the horror that awaits her, but she presses on because I feel that the urge um, to realise her deepest desires for her artistry is much, much stronger. And so when the camera's powers are revealed in its full extent, um, so is her innate brutality within herself. So this story to me represents my own fear of filmmaking itself. I think with all obsessions and addictions, um, someone is always responsible for bringing you in, but the consequence is yours to bear. And this is just like the dark side of filmmaking that I'm afraid of. There are many, many good things about it, but I think the, the pain of a dream is really real. And for me, where I'm from in Singapore, I think there's a lot of pressure to be, you know, the best version of yourself, especially for um, the youth, people my age, there, there are a lot of internalized expectations of yourself just because of the history and of, um, I guess, Asian, Southeast Asian countries. And I find that the genre of horror is perfect for expressing this sort of um, fear that, that exists in all of us. Um, of what we might become if we go one step too far. And I question this obsessive ambition because I know I'm capable of it and I'm afraid of falling into it. And so the title you will see is actually inspired by my own experience with my mentors. They're wonderful people, not, not toxic at all, but they always tell me um, that if I keep working on my craft one day, I will see the fruits of my labor. And it's this invisible, promise that scares me. Even the main character Gwen, after doing what her heart tells her to do, um, you'll see at the ending, um, she becomes a slave to her own artistry. And so I question I, I question whether, you know, if you create even if you create your Magnus Magnum opus, um, is it worth sacrificing your life for ambition? Um, I think some anecdotes, some, I really liked working with my actress Min Si. She is actually, she has actually never acted before, so it's, that alone is very impressive. Um, but I think, fun fact is that she is a dancer, so she's very um, in tune with the way her body moves. And in a way, I kind of questioned um, myself while even directing her, just as, um, just like the photographer in the film. I, I too was manipulating someone to act as my puppet to achieve the perfect moment. So that, that was that kind of the idea that I was trying to explore, like, um, is it a moral ambig- is it, it's mor morally ambiguous, right, as a director that you're, you're manipulating your actors to, to do what you want. And so, uh, fun fact, in, in post-production, um, we, we actually had, sorry, we actually had um, the mentor appear on screen at first, so we had a whole actress for a, a whole character for that, and an actress playing it. But in post production, I used um, standing clips for the voiceover of the mentor in the first scene, and I realized like, oh yeah, it, it's a interesting like meta layer to it. So we, it, at the end of the day, we cut the mentor out and and chose to um, not feature her in the film at all and just use. Uh, my voice as the voice of the mentor. As for things I'm working on now, I'm working on a script called 
uh, bleeding milk. It 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 will be about adolescence and sexuality and sexual assault. Um, its working title is Bleeding Milk, inspired by this discovery I had while watching a documentary. Um, that if you force open an unripe, fr- uh, unripe fig, it bleeds milk, and that's the freeze. And so I thought that was the perfect analogy for um, a violent sexual awakening in adolescence. Um, so similar to you will see, it will contain elements of drama, horror, and thriller. Okay, thank you so much.